everyone and welcome to this instructional video about installing and setting up Adobe Digital Editions on your home computer. Before we begin, I'm going to talk a little bit about a couple of things here very briefly. First, I want to mention that you will need an Adobe ID in order to completely set up ADE. If you do need one, all you need to do is go to adobe.com. In the upper right hand corner, click sign in and instead of signing in on the page that follows, click get an Adobe ID. That will come in handy towards the end of this video. I also want to let you all know that your friends, family members, or local librarians can help you determine what kind of device you have, whether it requires ADE, and how to use your device. All of these things are beyond the scope of this presentation, though. Today we are only covering the installation and setup of Adobe Digital Editions. On to the actual setup and installation here. You all should know that I'm doing this from a Mac, but doing so on a PC will be very similar. And I will try to note when exactly, if you're doing this on a PC, your screen will look like mine, or if you're going to need to go to a location other than where I'm accessing my files from. The first step here is to open up whatever browser you prefer, and to use and enter the link that you see highlighted in blue at the top of the screen here. After that, you're going to click on the tab on the right where it says Download. Then at the top, you're going to see the option to download ADE for your computer, where you'll see my cursor is right now. I'm going to click on Macintosh because that's what I have, but of course if you're using a PC, then click on that one instead. In both cases, once you click on that link, the installer will download. Once it is finished downloading, you will need to access your downloads folder, find the appropriate icon, and double click to open it. For PC users, that will typically mean clicking on the start button in the lower left hand corner, then clicking computer, and then finding the downloads folder on the left hand side of your screen. For Mac users, that will translate into clicking on the finder icon, also typically in the lower left hand corner of your screen, and then in the downloads folder on the left, as you can see here. As you follow along with me here, double clicking on the downloaded file will open up an Adobe Digital Editions folder with an install icon. Double clicking on that icon will open up the actual installer. Once the installer opens, you will need to confirm that you do actually want the computer to install the program. Then the terms and conditions will follow, which you will need to read and accept before moving forwards. If you have password protection on your computer, as I do, after telling the computer is it okay to install this program on your hard drive, you need to enter your password and give permission for the program to be installed one last time. After the program has finally been installed, Adobe Digital Edition should open automatically and look something like this. Now you'll see here and it should be the only book in your Adobe Digital Editions, this Getting Started With file. This is a very short introduction to Adobe Digital Editions from Adobe, and it addresses in much more detail than this tutorial allows for compatibility and accessibility between e-readers and Adobe Digital Editions. It also has sections pertaining to issues you may face with corrupted files, authorization, and more. I highly recommend that you take the time to look through this very short document, especially if you are at all uncertain about using this program in any way. Now, before you are officially ready to use your program uh, to begin accessing ebooks on your e-reader, you need to authorize your device. Authorization is something that many devices are required to have now in order to work properly or fully. And it is basically a mini registration between your computer and Adobe that says, hey, this is me, this is my device, I'm allowed to access these files. In order to do that, you will need to, on a Mac at least, click on Help at the very top right of your top menu and click Authorize Computer. The process will be similar on a PC as well. Once you enter your information on this screen and press Authorization, you're done. Now you're ready to go. Via your device, an ebook company, or your library subscription, you will now be able to download EPUB books to this program and drag and drop these titles right onto your e-reader where you can enjoy them in whatever format is most suitable for you.